What's up, Lee? What are you giggling about, cocksucker? So that's that's my thing. When I watch that, I want to know, what's the middle linebacker from the Chicago Bears that you did all those crazy movies? But in the 60s, he was fucking headbutting motherfuckers. Come on, guys. He did all the Police Academy movies and all that shit. Uh, you know, he was supposed to be the hardest hitter of all time. You know, where's that guy today? So I know Junior Seau was a very nice guy. You heard that all the fucking time for years. There was a big player from the fucking... Anybody twit, twit me? Big player from the fucking 60s for the Chicago Bears. What the fuck? Nobody knows here. Unbelievable. What am I going to do with you guys? What am I going <laughs> to do? What show was he on? He was on uh, Police Academy and shit. Police Academy. Chicago Bears. Bubba Smith? No. What the fuck? No movies. I mean, uh, that movie, any other movies? Uh, he did a couple of things. But anyway, the, you know, he was like the hardest hitter for the Chicago Bears. Bubba Smith keeps popping up. No, no, somebody else. That's all right. But it really is, you know, crazy that that's what I want to know, the percentage of the other players where, you know, uh, UFC fighters. Yeah. They're getting stronger and stronger. You know, you walk around for years at 205, 210, you draw, Anthony Johnson's a strong mm. dude, you know. Yeah. I could see someone like Anthony Johnson hitting you, God forbid, you know, the wrong way in the fucking head. Boom, boom, Mancini killed that fucking Korean kid. Young Kung Kim. I think it was Buku? <laughs> no, what was the kid's name? <laughs> it was Buku Kim? No, Young Kung Kim. Whatever Young, Kung, Young, Kung, Young Kung. Don't Kung Kim. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the greatest fucking fights ever on television. You could have robbed 10 banks at that day. Nobody would have known. Everywhere I walked into, everybody was watching that fight. Everywhere you it was on Wild World of Sports. Everywhere mm -hmm. you walked into that afternoon, everybody was like, hold on one second. You're like, what the fuck are you watching? It's the best fight ever. And finally, I watched like the last four rounds. They were beating the fuck out of each other, Lee. No referee, no no Nevada commission. They threw everybody out. This is a fight, guys. Fuck these two. And that Korean kid wrote on his chair, uh, fight to the death or something before he went out there. He mm -hmm. he fought. He died in his dressing room. That mm -hmm. fuck, Yeah, man. 1982, 83. That's going to be really bad if someone dies in a UFC fight. No, God forbid. I'm just saying that these guys are getting stronger. Yeah. These guys are getting stronger, and sometimes there's throws, there's judo throws involved. You never fucking know. You know, with football, I mean, it's been okay, but all these concussions, this is amazing. Every fucking week, somebody's got a concussion, and you got to watch them now. Right. I've had a concussion. It's not a good feeling. No. I. What does it feel no, like? I've it never feels had like one. it feels like your, your body. I remember puking a lot. Oh, Dick Buckus. Dick Buckus. Oh, okay. that's him. Dick yeah, Buckus. Yeah. Dick Buckus was a hard-hitting motherfucker. How is he doing today? Is he suicidal? Has he been arrested? I mean, these are the things you have to look at. So I don't know when they did that HBO thing, what it's conclusive is something with the water. I, for me, I thought about it, and it could be a drug with the hits to the head. Something they're giving them. You know, after this guy has received two concussions, oh, maybe they're giving them something. That they don't know. It's experimental, the FDA, blah, 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 but blah. But they're saying it's some sort of syndrome that guys are getting after concussions that make them feel this way, right? That make them feel this well, way. Well, like after, CTE or something? Something like that. like that. So that's what I'm curious about. Are they giving them something? You know, uh, society, athletes are getting sold. I've had a couple of concussions. Yeah, athletes are getting sold a bill of... Society's getting sold the bill of lading. You know, uh, the, the, there's vitamin people who really believe. I, I, I get sponsored by on it because I've gone to dinners. I've hung out with Aubrey, and I know what Aubrey does. Aubrey talked to me for years about opening up on it before he did it. You know, he always talked to me about this combination of stuff. When he went to, like, Columbia, he would go and get ayahuasca and all that shit. Really? In all these countries. Yeah, the guy that does on it. It has a great podcast. He he writes a blog. He's very intelligent. I'm willing to go look at it, but what, what do they have on it? Aubrey, what? like he just has a lot of different. I, I, I don't know. They do all that stuff. I'm not very familiar with it, so I don't want to mm -hmm. talk about it. But I know that he's into minerals and making. He always took stuff to make you better or give you more energy. Right. So when he came up with on it, and him and Rogan were telling me about it one night, I saw his passion. It's the same passion I have for stand-up. It's the same passion I have for food. 
So I know that on it's good. That's why when he contacted me, I was like, absolutely. I was kind of proud in a way because he does have a couple of good products there that do work. But there's a lot of people that are selling you misinformation. They're selling you faulty fucking products. They're selling you shit that there's really nothing in it. Right. If you take half those protein shakes in the market, they probably are all sugar and half the protein in those fucking things. Yeah, and, and you wonder, because sometimes there's some that, you know, it's always the low sugar, high protein one, and some of them taste so good, and you're like, oh, man, all my dreams have come true. The next, you know, the best tasting ones are always off the market. After a little while, maybe people find out, you know what? Maybe it wasn't true what they said was in there, or maybe there's some other stuff in you there. Don't know what's you, know about. In there. Yeah, yeah. you don't know what's fucking in there. The only protein shake you know is when you're making it at home and you put wheatgrass in that motherfucker and sirhan sirhan and fucking paluca trees and ginger. You ever have sirhan sirhan in your fucking protein shake? No, but I like paluca yeah. trees. That's like gunpowder. You put that in your fucking shake. Like, like what's his name in that movie about Africa? He was snorting gunpowder and blow. What's that movie, the dude that fucking was selling guns? Guns of War. Nobody oh, fought. I didn't see that movie. No, uh, Damn. No, I didn't see that movie. What's it, Nicolas Cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the his God last... Of War or something oh, yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. That's one of his really last good movies. That's an interesting movie. At the end, he gets all fucked up, and he goes down to this little village, and they're drinking, and this dude keeps sending them shots of fucking Coke and gunpowder. That's just tremendous in West Africa, where the fuck they are. And his brother was great. The guy that won the Academy Award this year, for, uh, whatever, the Dallas Buyers Club, he was a transvestite. Mm -hmm. He was the brother in that. Fucking tremendous. He played a coke fiend and shit. If you haven't watched that movie, what's the I name? heard the Dallas Buyers Club is good. Yeah, yeah. Dogs of War. It's on it's every God fucking War. night on Showtime or one of those. It's on every night. Every night, it's, and every night I stop what I'm doing and I fucking put it on. See, I, got, I don't watch a lot of TV. I, I, have, I do the Netflix thing, and but I got to catch up to it. I got a lot of movies I got to catch up with. God of War. Let's go. You know what, man? I decided today I'm getting rid of uh, direct TV. Yeah. As soon as the football season's over, because I paid for the stupid NFL package, I'm just canceling it. I'm paying one fifty. I'm gonna get one of those Amazon sticks that you can play the Watch ESPN app on, and that's really all I'll watch. And then I'll buy a DVD if I want to. But I'm. It's too much money. It was. I, I sat down and thought about it, and there's nothing on. It's crazy how there's how how little there is for how much we're paying. But there, there. I found that you know what? I I stopped watching TV, but then I found out I'm missing out when I check in and watch some TV. They're making amazing stuff, man. Some of these TV shows are... Good. Netflix is making great stuff. Yeah. Tele you know, television's trying to fucking come back. Mm -hmm. And they're losing right. us. They're losing us little by little. And they, and they know it. The cable networks and HBO's going to go to... HBO's just, just going to buy what you use, correct? Yeah. Well, is that the rumor? Uh, well, you can do that. You can just sign up for HBO Go. But if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to all like the HBO Go things, I think. Or maybe all the old series. So it's there's just so much stuff available to you. No. Listen, I, I do you do you watch uh, Game of Thrones? No, I don't have it. I don't have HBO right now. I don't watch it. Yeah. I don't watch it. It's, it's, I've heard it's great. I heard, I heard it's, it's great. great too, but I mean, I don't have TV. But I, I, I well, yeah. I have to lot. watch TV for my little entertainment. That's part of me getting entertained and refueling at night. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'll scroll by ESPN and it bores me to death. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.